Hello, I'm Ellie for edu for hava and this is the SQL tutorial number 3. In this tutorial we're going to see tables. Mm, we're going to see the uh, following instructions. Create table, alter tables and drop tables. Obviously we're going to have an example for a creation of a table, a modification of a table and a delete a table. As you can see over here I've been already playing and we have a new table which wasn't here in the last tutorial. Let's start to learning to drop a table. We're going to delete this table to create it again as an example. Drop table as you can see here we can see the SQL instruction to delete a table. Apply SQL finish and refresh we can see that the table doesn't exist anymore. Let's create a new table now. Right button on the mouse, create table. We're going to call it, for example, let's see, um, publisher. We have a table called books and now we want a table with the publishers of the books. Now we go to columns and we can see that automatically the application has written an ID publisher and you can also see here on the letter key and on the right with data type is we can see an int type. Here you can see the name of the field and here the int the type. The int is going to be the type of the column of the table. This is going to be the name of the column and this is going to be like the identifier. The key means it's going to be unique. Here it says on the right PK the primary key. A primary key is a an unique identifier. Okay, let's continue. We'll put a name here. Automatically it offers me when I write name uh, a bar chart. 45. This says it's a text with a length of 45 characters. OK, that will be OK. We're going to put an address. Type bar char 45. Maybe it's too long. Now we're going to write a phone. For a phone bar char 45 is too much. Uh, we'll be OK with 20, I think. That would be enough for a phone. OK, it's ready. We're going to apply. And um, here we're going to see the sentence which has was generated. Let's look at it. Create table. This is the sentence to create a table. It says edu.publisher. Edu would be the schema and publisher the table to be created. Basically in between these brackets comes the fields to be created. These qu quotation marks are not really necessary. They would be necessary if we wrote a strange symbol or a space. But normally if uh, there are in an identifier like this it's not really necessary. Here um, it says that it's going to create a field ID publisher with an int type and it's going to be a not null. It can't be null. Wait a minute. Uh, let's cancel a moment. Here I have another option. If I put in AI a check, I'm going to check it and say yes. This um, adds here the, this characteristic to the definition, auto increment. This means that I don't have to write a number here. He's going to put it for me and automatically it will be incremented for us. Each time I make a register it will add one more. We'll see this later. The second column says Naim Varshar 45 and it can be null. Address Varshar 45 null. Phone Varshar 20 and it can't be null. 
Lastly, we have a primary key and in brackets ID publisher. This is saying that this column is going to be the primary key. This in fact creates an index, but indexes will be seen in another future tutorial. Well, this is the create instruction. I'll save it to use through commands and now we'll use it directly here. Apply SQL, it executes automatically and we can do with this button here with a refresh button and we can see here the table publisher with the fields too. Let's now think that the address here is not necessary because we contact by phone so we can eliminate the address. We'll use the options um, we have and one of them as we know is alter table to modify the table. Let's uh, go now to the columns and we're going to tell him that we don't want this address. We basically click here on delete selected columns. Here it is. We go to apply and we see what it says. Alt table, here's the SQL instructions, is the instruction on edu.publisher and it says drop column, which one? That would be address. If we execute this with the bottom apply and finish, we come here and we see that it has really disappeared. With the alter table, with instruction alter table and drop column, when we made this publisher, it was so that book we could indicate in the book who is the publisher of each book. If we, for example, are working with these books and we want more, we have to know who is the publisher of the book. Let's uh, alter this one then. This is uh, an example of how we can use the alter instruction. Okay, we'll now then alter the table. Here it is. We'll do this this time to alter a column. This column will be publisher identifier. If uh, you remember the ID publisher was an int, let's put int. We want it not to be null, so they're obliged to put something. Yes, here we check it. We say null, not null. Apply. We'll apply SQL. Now I'm thinking that maybe I have problems with the data we have already created. Well, let's see. Alter table, add column. Alter table is the same as before on edu.books. Instead of drop column, we have add column, column. The name of the column I want to add, the int type, which can't be null, and after ISBN. This is here, it would be put after ISBN. That's the order where it's going to be. Okay, let's start to apply. Let's go to refresh. I come to books and we can see here ID Publisher. Now um, the only thing we need is to execute um, dot drop. We'll be executed a drop at the be so we al we already executed a drop at the beginning so we'll do the same thing but by console. We open the console and the first thing we're going to do is drop table. This one drop table of the publisher table. Drop table and the name of the table. Enter. I come here and I refresh and I can see I don't have the table publisher anymore. Uh, I go to the console again. 
we paste the instructions to create a table it's the same one as before because I just copied it okay copy paste enter okay the table was created let's refresh and here refresh and here I have the table we said that we didn't want the columns address let's come to the console again and we're going to drop a uh, columns address okay uh, that's the column address enter let's come here again we also refresh and we can see we haven't got the address column anymore I could execute to create this one uh, I should first delete it to create the ID publisher again let's alter table alt uh, table let's see here columns we're going to the columns uh, in ID publisher we'll click on delete let's see if I found it no default no no clear def default delete selected columns apply as you can see an alter table drop like the last one now uh, we're going back uh, to the console to the same instruction the copy paste enter and let's see refresh okay we can now see that the columns aren't there anymore let's create now let's go to the console okay paste and again refresh we go to refresh we can see in books that we have now the id publisher uh, well now i could do the top we started with it so here uh, we have the tables as we wanted them okay now we can uh, have a look at id publisher and uh, to the auto increment which is a new thing edit data table name phone edu for have um, for a name for a phone 555 555 remember you have to press this button to apply the changes click okay this is the sql which is going to execute don't uh, worry because we'll see the insert in another tutorial apply finish automatically you can see that it wrote a one this is because of the auto increment for example I can try here I can write here edu this uh, will be my own editorial and here I don't um, write anything save again apply finish and here we can see a number two he automatically generates us the numbers here we have to see what happened with books let's see the ID publisher here which can't be null but the application has wrote at zero we can say that Hava in 21 days has been published by Edu for Hava publisher 1 and SQL 15 minutes has been written by the author number 2 by the publisher number two. Here we are. Number one, Edu for Hava. Number two, Edu. With this, we've seen create, alter, and drop. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.